Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today, I'm bringing you my Treehouse of Horror idea, as promised. So obviously, my last idea last week was Oktoberfest, I said. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing a Halloween idea. Now, this isn't every single thing they could ever add to Halloween, which was what I used to do. I used to go through all the episodes and take screenshots and, and you know, and produce like a big collage of, of characters and buildings and decorations that they could add to the game. I've not done that this year. Instead, what I've done here is I've just made my own event, uh, made my own Halloween event, something I think would be pretty cool and something that would be fairly easy as well. Now, I've based this entirely on one episode, which is what appears to be happening with the event that's coming up soon. So, it appears that we're going to be getting the Hellementary event, basically, from some of the things that have been leaked. It appears it's going to be based around that episode. This one I made like months ago, so this one's quite kind of uh, dated. So I swear, <laughs> I swear, I, uh, I I came up with it first. But uh, this is based entirely on one episode two, but then a few things are added in, like a few characters and costumes and things like that are added in just to make the event better, you know. Because without that, then you wouldn't be getting you know, some cool some cool characters and costumes. So this is entirely based on the episode called The Day the Earth Stood Stupid. That is the episode with the War, War of the Worlds episode with uh, obviously Orson Welles giving his uh, the radio play of the War of the Worlds and the town overreacting about it. Uh, but then at the end it turns out the aliens are invading. So that is kind of what I've based my event around the episode. Most all the buildings and decorations come from that episode. And then, apart from a few in the store and stuff, uh, and then yeah, so we'll we'll get into it. Boom! The start up. The kids are excited about Halloween coming up, but are wanting this one to be extra more scary. Frank tells the kids that he has a he's made a machine that can take the whole town back in time to whatever scary time period they want. Bart tells Millhouse they should use the machine to bring them back to the Jurassic Age. Make Millhouse help Bart. Make Bart use the time machine. Make Lisa leap to stop Bart and this will not be invent so he'll be wanting to go take them time to the Jurassic period so um, yeah and once the event is locked uh, is unlocked the town turns into the color the color palette of the episode this kind of I don't know what you call it but I guess like a 1920s vintage filter so the event currency is going to be dirty clothes for act one scrolls for act two fly swatters for act three and hair brushes for act four uh, I've tried my best to base the non, the premium stuff f with the stuff, the character you get. So that's what I've tried to do here. So starting off, I just had to throw this in. It's really, it's unrelated completely. But Donut Head Homer with Springfield Donuts for 120 donuts. Yeah, Donut Head Homer with the Springfield Donuts. I don't know, it's unrelated to the, it's completely unrelated to the actual event itself. But it's a costume I really want so badly and I think this this building makes sense I mean I know that he wasn't there but uh, whatever boom in the store though act one is KBBL tower with Orson Welles for 150 donuts very cool uh, when I saw this I was like oh man they could uh, I remember there was a that news and uh, radio event which I did in the your ideas video I forget who who did that one it was Uter or it was old Jewish man it was one of the two but um yeah, this this would have been a really cool thing to add, maybe. I know it's from a Halloween episode, but they can still they can add things from Halloween episodes. But yeah, KBBL Tower, and this will come with Orson Welles for 150 donuts. Very cool. Uh, obviously, Orson Welles, I feel like, I know he's a real-life person, but <clears throat> he's been dead for many a year, and I feel like he falls into that category where you could probably add him, and it'll be fine. Moving on. So Lisa is mad at Bart that they turned the town back to the 1930s. Uh, Marge freaks out about the house. She's going crazy that there is no internet anymore. So make Marge freak out. Make Lisa chase Bart. Make Bart hide from Lisa. And make Springfielders collect dirty clothes. This will unlock the 1930s Simpsons house. So as you can see here, very cool. It's kind of got this like barn garage thing, which is very awesome. And yeah, I think it looks cool. The little clothesline maybe could be to the left of it. I do think this should be a building and not a skin. I just think it's too unique to be, it's got a porch and everything, it's too unique to be a skin. Uh, Homer tells Marge to calm down as they still have the smooth music of KBBL. 
Uh, Homer switches on the radio and hears Orson Welles tell the town that the aliens are invading. Make Homer freak out, make Marge freak out too. Make Lisa try to calm Homer and Marge down and make Springfielders collect dirty clothes. This will unlock the 1930s radio. Very small little decoration. It'll just be the radio on top of this little cabinet here. Um, won't be anything too big. It'll be a bit of a bit of a small decoration, but I think it, it's cool to get. Lisa tells Homer and Marge that this was all a hoax. And she, and she read about this in elementary school. Grandpa agrees, saying it was that hippie Orson Welles. Kang agrees, saying, yeah, there's no alien invasion. The family scream. Make Homer board up his windows. Make Bart look up for look for an escape. Make Lisa plan. Make Marge pack. And make Springfielders collect dirty clothes. This will unlock the 1930s car, as you can see here. So Otto was driving it with little radios over his head. But they could just add this little car here. Very cool. Moving on. Lisa tells, oh wait, sorry, Homer tells the town that there is an alien invasion happening and he's seen an alien in the flesh. Kang tells the town there is no need to be alarmed. Make Springfielder beat up Kang, make Springfielders beat up Kang times three. Make Springfielders collect supplies with the upcoming invasion times three. And make Springfielders collect dirty clothes. And this will unlock Nick, Nick Wee and Sons. Obviously it's the Quickie Mart parody. Um, again, this shouldn't obviously be a... This shouldn't obviously be a skin for the Quickie Mart. Should just be its own thing. So, yeah. And then Kang tells the town that actually in the 1930s he had no plan to invade. He actually just wanted to come um, for the uh, come cook for the Earthlings. I should have said, uh, sorry, come for the Earthlings. And the town. Oh uh, yeah, and the town is made. Yeah, he wanted to cook for the Earthlings, and the town has made his cook Shrak very upset. Quimby is ashamed and asks how they can apologise. Kang orders they roll in the mud. Make Homer roll in the mud. Make Springfielders roll in the mud times three. Make Springfielders collect dirty clothes. And this will unlock Shrak the Preparer. So this is one I've wanted for a while. I feel like the reason why he's not been added lately is because he looks just like Kang and Kodos. But god damn it, I want Shrak the Preparer. They can just have him holding like a cookbook to make, like, make him unique, um, I guess. But... Shirak the preparer was the the one alien who just never was. There was Kang, Kodos, and Shirak. They they were the, the they were the OG, but Shirak was just abandoned. And I, I think this is bad. I want I want Shirak in the game. Anyway, Act Two drops. Bam! Store ancient synagogue with Golem of Prague for 150 donuts. So this was the synagogue that he was made in, um, and here he here he is. So yeah, very awesome. 150 donuts. Orson Welles tells Quimby that the aliens have come to invade. They're serious this time. Quimby tells him he's crazy. They just want to cook. But Orson tells him that they they did, but someone ate the meal they planned for Mars. And now they're mad. Make Quimby rush to warn Wiggum. Make Wiggum gun up. Make Springfield his own scrolls. And this will unlock Orson Welles' car, as you can see here. Uh, Wiggum tells Quimby that they... That their modern day bullets didn't work, don't work in their 1930s guns. Quimby asks, didn't the bullets de-age? And Quimby replies, no, it's plot convenience. <laughs> Quimby demands, Wiggum finds bullets before the aliens invade. Sorry, there's loads of spell mistakes. Make Wiggum ask where he can buy bullets. Make Quimby shake in fear. Make Springfielders own scrolls. And this will unlock the 1930s general shop, as you can see here. Kind of in the background, I know. Oh, sorry, general store, I should say. Did I put General Store? Oh yeah, I did. General Store, as you can see here. It was kind of in the background, but whatever. Uh, Wiggum found bullets in the General Store and fires at the ship, but it doesn't do anything. Kang demands they ra rain lasers down on the two men. Make Quimby duck, make Wiggum duck, make Springfield his own scrolls. And this will unlock the 1930s Flying Saucer, as you can see here. Um, it's very different to the other ones that we've got, so I think I think that's okay. It's it's good. Lisa begs Frink to come help with something to help. Sorry, to come help with something to help stop the aliens, as Wiggum and Quimby have lost their clothes due to the alien lasers. Frink tells Lisa his technology has gone back almost a hundred years, so it's useless. Krusty tells Lisa that they ha he has a friend who can help. Make Krusty get his friend. Make Quimby get new clothes. Make Wiggum get new clothes. Make Springfield his own scrolls, and this will unlock the Salvation Army. As you can see here. This will be where they're getting their clothes, I guess. <laughs> I know it's kind of like food and stuff like that. I don't know. The Salvation Army do a lot of stuff. I don't... I'm like... I'm slightly... I don't know if they would add this 100% just because the Salvation Army are a charity organization. But I don't know. 
I'm not sure. They have been around for like a year, so I don't know. Maybe you're all allowed to use their image. Krusty brings the female golem, and she tells she talks to Kang and Kodos. She talks Kang and Kodos to annoyance. They decide to flee, but tell the town that this does not mean the war is over. Make Springfielders celebrate victory. Make Krusty thank the female golem. Make Springfielders collect scrolls, and this will unlock the female golem, as you can see here. So this is the one that obviously the, pra the golem of Prague um, marries at the end. The reason why I put her as the prize and not him is because he fits really well with this building and I didn't want to not include this building so I, I, I switched them around. I know it's not an, an amazing final prize but I don't know, she, she, she was somewhat prominent, she had a few lines and stuff um, so I think, I think she makes sense. Anyway, Act 3 drops, bam, grilled cheese with Edmund, 150 donuts. This is the only thing I can add with Edmund, because all of the other stuff that, that would have made sense to be added with Edmund um, has already been added in the game, like the bell tower that him and Lisa go in, the obviously the Dracula land place, like everything, even that woods I'm pretty sure has been added. So um, yeah, it's literally... The only thing I could have for Edmund was the grilled cheese sandwich where he gets a grilled cheese at the start. So it makes sense, I guess. It's still something he comes with. Maybe grilled cheese can earn currency as well. Uh, also, obviously just to let you know, that Edmund is Dracula's son and he was voiced by Daniel Radcliffe. Moving on. Mr. Burns asks Frank when will the town be back to modern day. Frank tells him... Sorry about that. Uh, Frank tells him it will take a while. Mr. Burns tells him he's happy with this. I like, uh, he's happy with it like this. Coal is back and play and workers can be exploited more. Make Homer research coal power, make Mr. Burns exploit workers, make Springfielders earn fly swatters, and this will unlock the Springfield Coal Fueled Power Plant, as you can see here. It was in the opening. I really have, like, scraped the bottom of the barrel with this event, I know, but I don't know, I think it works. Homer complains to Mr. Burns that there are tons of flies around, more than normal. The flies begin to attack Springfield. Make Springfielders look for cover, make Homer swap flies, make Springfielders earn fly swatters, and this will unlock the 1930s brown house, but it's blue. Now, uh, this was like the one where I was like, ah, this is like, the only reason why I added this is just because the obsession with the brown houses. I love, I love brown house. I love the brown house. It's, it's amazing. We've got so many brown houses. We've got like five of them in the game. So why not add another that's blue as a twist? <laughs> Uh, Bart finds Kang hiding in Springfield Elementary. Kang asks him if he would like to lead their fly army. And Bart, uh, imagining himself being a super fly, is more than happy to help. Make Bart get transformed. Makes Homer, make Homer swap flies. Make Springfielders earn fly swatters. And this will unlock Fly Bart as a costume. So this will make Bart minuscule. This is why I think it's really cool, right? It will make Bart tiny. Like a tiny, tiny little thing. Like you can barely see him. Uh, maybe the size of Pokey, the little hamster we have, or gerbil is it? Hamster or gerbil, whatever it is. But the little hamster or gerbil that's in the game at the minute, I think it's Pokey. I don't remember exactly. But that thing, it's like tiny, right? Maybe Bartfly can be the size of that, so it's at least visible. I don't know. I think I think it would be cool. Anyway, uh, Bart is horrified to now be a fly and asks Lisa to help him be transformed back. Because he imagined himself being something much better. Lisa agrees, but first they need to stop the fly army. Homer tells Lisa that they need to find the stickiest place in Springfield, Moe's. Make uh, Bartfly lead the flies, make Homer prepare Moe, make Moe increase the stickiness, and make Springfielders earn fly swatters, and this will unlock 1930s Moe's. I feel like this should just be a building, just to be consistent with the others. I know it makes it could be a skin pretty easily, but I don't know. I feel like it should just probably be a building. They successfully stop the fly army. Lisa asks Frank to change Bart back, and he does so somehow. I haven't really thought of a reason why, but Bart, but fly Bart still remains. Make Bart fight, fight his fight his fly self. Make Lisa help Bart. Make Springfield his own fly swatters, and this one like fly Bart. So we got Bart fly, fly Bart. So fly Bart is obviously the reason why I think they should be a different character and not a costume for Bart is technically they are two different people, right? The fly, the fly's brain is on Bart's body and the Bart's brain is on the fly's body. So it makes more sense for the fly to be a character and not uh, Bart. If you did, I, hope, I hope you get what I mean. 
Um, moving on, Act 4 drops, bam. This one is all based on hair, right? So I was thinking, who the hell can I add? Because uh, just to give you a little spoiler, the toupee is the final character, the evil toupee. And I was like, oh, Rapunzel. That makes sense. So you got Rapunzel's tower with Rapunzel for 150 donuts. If anyone's wondering, Rapunzel is a uh, public domain character. So what that means is she's free reign. Anyone can anyone can add Rapunzel to a story. So yeah, 150 donuts. Disney do not own her. Uh, Frink tells the town that the machine is nearly done and they'll be able to help. Uh, sorry, they'll be blah, blah, blah. they'll be able to be back in the present in a bit. Orson Welles comes back and tells the town that the aliens are coming to invade again. Bo and Marnie are sick of this guy and demand he shuts up. Make Mo break radios, make Lisa help Frank, make Springfield his own hairbrushes. This will unlock the Costington's radio shop, as you can see here. You couldn't see all of it, but they can just add this like the kind of ledge that goes over and Costington's and then maybe radios in the window. Wiggum demands that Frink speeds up the process as the aliens are here now. Frink tells Wiggum that he has figured out a way to slow the aliens down. They're hairless, thus they are likely prone to overheating. So he invented a hair growing device with the help of Rapunzel. And, and also maybe there's like a little joke that like Frink and Rapunzel are like kind of banging I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, whatever. Homer gets intrigued. Make Wiggum fire the device. Make Homer dive in front of the device. Make Springfielders earn hairbrushes. And this will unlock the drained Wiggum skin. The aliens killed Wiggum, so he's he's now he's now looking like that. Homer is overjoyed. Now he has hair, and he begins to sorry he begins to uh, the hair begins to strangle him straight away. Quimby catches Frink chatting up Rapunzel and orders he gets a move on already. Make Quimby order Frink. Make Homer fight his hair. Make Springfield his own hair brushes, and this will unlock the alien invasion wreckage. So just a bunch of like destroyed houses and stuff. It, this could be fairly big, I guess, or it could be fairly just a few little houses, but something like this is what I was looking at. Um, didn't mean to do that. Frink fixes the device to send Springfield back to the modern time. Quimby says that this will uh, he'll somewhat miss Springfield land, and he hits the button to make Springfielder travel. Make Springfielders travel through time, times three. Make Homer try take off his hair, and make Springfielders earn hairbrushes, and this will unlock the Springfield land sign. Maybe with a little, like a little tower, the, the little radio um, thing there. I don't know. Maybe this isn't the. Maybe maybe they shouldn't add this. I'm not sure, but this is what I, I don't know. Could be cool to get it. Springfield Land. It could just be the sign itself, not the actual like mountain. So we'll just get the Springfield Land, and then you can just place that where you want. I don't know. And then the aliens are gone. The town is saved, but the evil toupee is still attacking Homer. Marge has a perfect plan. Make Marge stress Homer to hair loss. Make Lisa stress Homer to hair loss. Make Bart stress Homer to hair loss. And make Springfielders earn hair brushes. And this will unlock the evil toupee as a full playable character. Boom. The epilogue. Homer reveals he stole the meal from the Martians, but that meal was, oh no, mutant rabbits. They begin to infest Springfield. It's meant to be infest, not invest. They're not, they're not bankers. Uh, they begin to infest Springfield. <laughs> Quimby is mad. They have to do this all again. So make Homer nervously apologize. Make Springfielders times free defend against mutant rabbits. So to the start, we have Orson Welles. These are some tasks. Perform prank for 60 minutes. This will be um, him like kind of maybe like coconuts or something, like making making kind of noises and stuff, speaking in the mic. Shout, shout at sound effects team for four hours. Get drunk at 1938 Mo's. Uh, probably should be 1930s Mo's, but whatever. Six, that's for six hours. Write a radio play for eight hours. That'll be a KBBL tower. Warn people of an alien invasion for 12 hours. This will be him kind of freaking out, um, like pointing to stuff, you know. And then come up with a battle plan for 24 hours. That will be at the KBBL uh, thing. <laughs> anyway. We got Chirac. Cry for 60 minutes. It'll be him just crying. Read cookbook for four hours. Wipe away space dust for eight hours. Slave away in the kitchen for 12 hours. This will be him, like, cooking, basically, as a task. And then dominate the Earth for 24 hours. That could be anywhere, really. Uh, maybe the spaceship. Then we've got the Golem of Prague. Throw up messages for 60 minutes. It'll be him doing that. Do demands for Simpsons for four hours. Yo-Yo Skinner for... Uh, six hours, it'll be him on top of the school, yo-yoing Skinner. Um, get a redesign for eight hours, that'll be the synagogue. Renew vows for 12 hours, that'll be him in his, we in his wedding suit with, obviously, his female golem. 
and then give in to wife's demands for 24 hours. That will be him and his wife in the Simpsons house, maybe. Then we have the female golem. Laugh annoyingly for 60 minutes. Annoy Springfield for 4 hours. Get a paint job for 8 hours. Renew vows for 12 hours. That will be the same task as, as those two. They can do them separately. So the renew vows task they can do separately. But obviously if they do it together they'll be like both outside. I don't know. Both outside the Simpsons house or whatever. And then get tips from Marge for 24 hours. That will be at the Simpsons house with Marge. Then we've got Edmund. Bite Homer for 60 minutes. That will be him biting Homer. Hunt for blood for four hours. Go to school for six hours, obviously. Loiter about for eight hours. That could be anywhere, really. Stop cars for 12 hours. So this will be a car driving towards him, or two cars driving towards him. And with his hands, he just stops them. And then hide from father for 24 hours. That will be in the bell tower, if you have it. Then we got... Is this Bart Fly or Fly Bart? I don't know which. Fly Bart, yeah. This is Fly Bart. Uh, so eat sugar for 60 minutes. That'll be him eating sugar from, from the packet. Spend time with Homer for four hours, him and Homer. R raid the fridge for eight hours, that'll be the Simpsons house. Catch Fly Bart for 12 hours as an animation. That will include Fly Bart and it'll be him chasing him around, trying to catch him in his hands. And switch back to Fly Body for 24 hours, that'll be at the Simpsons house. Then we've got Rapunzel. Call for a hero for 60 minutes, it'll be her in a tower, kind of you know, calling for a hero. Become friends with the evil toupee for four hours, uh, it'll be her and the evil toupee in the, in the tower. That's what I was kind of trying to go with. I was trying to go with like a hair thing. Uh, try other escape routes for six hours. That'll be in the tower. Spend time with Frank for eight hours. That'll be with Frank in the tower. Let down her hair for 12 hours as an animation. That'll be her just doing that. And then get a haircut for 24 hours. That will be at the Jake's unisex hair palace. And then we've got the evil toupee. Take bullet fire for 60 minutes. This will be him just taking bullets. As, as you know, the hair taking bullets. Plan revenge for four hours. Brush himself for eight hours. And be Homer's hair for 12 hours. So this will be a really weird task, right? So it will include Homer, but it will add an animation with the toupee on top of Homer's head. So it's an anime. It's like a, I guess a, you know, it's an animation that can only be triggered by the evil toupee. But it will really be an animation for Homer. And then attack Homer for 24 hours. It will be him, obviously, attacking Homer. In, with Homer in the Simpsons house, and then got the costume and the I added I added these things after, so that's why they're at the bottom. But get stuck in a spider's web for sixty minutes. Uh, contact Lisa for four hours. Annoy Homer for eight hours. Fly over Springfield for twelve hours. This will be him flying over Springfield. But maybe instead of this task, I think actually what could be cool is be what like maybe like basically be what he wanted to like the fly he wanted to be or be the fly he wanted to be and i remember bart has that, like, a little like kind of dream sequence where he imagines himself being like this like super fly maybe that should be the thing so like when you went for that 12 hour task it has that little animation of him being like kind of super fly maybe i don't know and then for the donut and then try try reverse the change for 24 hours and then for homer Donut head Homer. Try put his head back together for 60 minutes. We'll be here with like little bits of donut, just placing it back. Run away from co workers for four hours. <laughs> That'll be the power plan. Eat donuts for six hours. That'll be him eating donuts with a donut head. Rub icing on his head for eight hours. Obviously, that'll be um, in the Simpsons house. Eat himself for 12 hours. That'll be him literally just eating his head. And then buy more donuts for 24 hours. That'll be at the donut store, I guess, uh, that he comes with. So yeah, that is the Halloween event that I came up with, at least. Uh, like I said, based mainly on the uh, the day the Earth stood stupid, I think it's called. Or the day the Earth... Yeah, whatever. Um, oh no, I think it's called... No, I don't think it is called that. I think it's called... Is it? I don't even know what that episode is. I don't even know what that section was called, man. Uh, but anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on this little event. Uh, it's a big event. I don't know. I, I quite like it. I think there's very... I mean, at least for the characters. I think these characters would definitely be cool. Chirac, the Golem of Prague, Edmund and, you know, the Flybart, the Evil Toupee, uh, Rapunzel to some degree as well would be kind of cool to get. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on this, like I said, and I shall see, shall see you in the next one.